Hi everyone, Laura at Broken Wind with the next Violet instalment. Before I start making and doing things, a um, couple of quick, um, not announcements, details, infos. Um, thank you all for my last video for the comments about changing the angle of my camera. Um, as a lot of you may have guessed, I am new to this game as in YouTubing as well as guitar making actually um, and I am doing the recordings off my phone um, and I'm going to be honest with you um, the reason I had my phone that way up was because of my particularly grown up phone case yes that is Batman um, and as you can see it wasn't one that was for going sideways nothing was ever going to stay sideways with that it was a standy uppy one so I have listened and we are out of Batman um, and as you've probably gathered, I am a big kid because I've just realised I'm also wearing a Lego t-shirt, so brilliant. Um, I wasn't intending to actually do any work today, um, guitar-wise. I was doing some repairs, um, but I've, while I've got something literally cooling off at the minute, I thought I might as well use my time and do a bit of work on my neck. So I'm going to do that now. Um, but before I start that, one thing I do want to say is massive, massive, big lovely shout out to Phil Jahari who is the guy behind the music on all of my um, videos that I've posted. Um, he is a very talented musician, singer songwriter, guitarist and just all round general nice guy and lovely man and um, if you're not aware of his music please look him up. His name's Phil Jahari, that's J-O-H-A-R-I and he's available on all major platforms um, he's also in another band called Furious Styles. Look them up, they're brilliant as well. Very talented group of guys. Um, so yeah, big shout out to him. Please look his stuff up. Please give him as much support as possible. He's a lovely chap and he's kindly letting me use his original material as my soundtracks on my videos. So thank you, Phil. Um, good work, keep it up, mate. And let's get cracking on to making. sorted. I can get on and do some radius and shaping etc but I'm not going to do that today. I wasn't intending to do this today but might as well make most of a few minutes while I had them. There we go. I think it looks rather nice. I can do some a uh, bit of sanding around them because the Woods puckered up slightly around it, but nothing that a bit of TLC won't solve. So there we go. Um, for those of you that are interested in what else I do, a couple of people have shown an interest. This is what I. Uh, oh, look, you can pr prove I didn't mean to work today. I'm not even wearing shoes, I've got my flip flops on. Health and safety at its best. Um, here we are. This is uh, what I was currently working on. It's a piece of French horn. So the tuning slides were stuck. It's one of these. Uh, there's a few here. Here we are, this one's been polished, so before and after, you can see there, um, but this one has needed a bit more TLC because um, it actually become unsoldered here in the middle, so I've had to sort that out. So while that was cooling off, I thought I might as well make the most and do the bits on my neck there, so there's all the rubbish on the bottom of my workshop floor. Um, there we go, so I'm going to leave it at that for now and hopefully crack on probably in a couple of days. This might sound silly, but, well, to be fair, a lot of what I say probably sounds quite silly, but from the moment I sketched Violet's face out on the beach, I was looking forward to shaping her ears. <laughs> and you know what? It is not disappointing. This is an absolute joy. It's so much fun just hacking away and being creative and doing this shaping. 
<laughs> it's a really, really, really good giggle. People aren't so excited when you are creative with their expensive instrument that's in for repair. So it's just lovely to have the freedom to do this. It's really, really fun. So what I failed to show you, and you can thank me later, is me sanding for hours on her bum. To get rid of all the big rust marks, I've used 40 grit, real rough stuff. Um, and it's coming up really, really nicely. So I can uh, start the finishing process on her bum and sort her tail out and then tackle the back of her head again. Um, you can see the difference there, look, all the rust marks compared to here. She's starting to smooth off. I was tempted to maybe leave some of that as a bit of a fur effect, but no, I think smoother will be nicer to play and bring out the grain of the wood and everything and the colour will be different and a bit more fur like I'm not so worried about the texture adding to that as well but it's about 11pm, my hands are red raw I'm tired so no night Morning everyone, so before I can crack on today with the joy that is Violet herself I need to earn a bit of cash so clarinet service, here we go Right, that was just a snippet of what I do in my day job. I didn't think you needed to see the whole clarinet service. It's not what you're probably clicking on this video to watch. So with the loving delivery of a cup of tea and a survival pork pie, let's crack on with some more sanding and shaping. So here we are, uh, tail shaped. Holes done for some little black screws I've got to hold it in place. Um, back of the head been sanded back, still with 40 grit, so it's very rough. Long way to go until that's considered finished, but shaping wise, really happy, pleased with that. Um, I'm about to do some filler where you can see where the biscuit joint is of the two pieces that was once the shelf. Um, you can see it's MDF, so I was debating cutting back a bit to fill with beach dust and things, but you know what, no. This is from Recycled Timber, I'm proud that it's from Recycled Timber, I'm pleased to be doing that, so I'm going to leave that in there. And it's still going to take on the stain and everything anyway, so that's fine, filler going to happen soon. Um, for those of you who aren't sure, but most have probably guessed, I am doing a set neck. Um, so I've done some shaping there as well. A um, couple of reasons, firstly... Um, I'm not a massive fan of how bolt-ons look in general, um, I think there's going to be something quite nice and satisfying as a maker to do a set neck um, in the construction side of things, but most importantly for Violet, aesthetically, <laughs> I don't want her to look like she's been shot in the back of the head by having the screws going through, so set neck it is. And I think, excitingly, I'm in a position to start shaping her face. So while my filler is drying, I've decided to use my time wisely and put a radius on my fretboard. Yet more sanding. Um, then I'm going to use my radius block. I've chosen to use a 10, slightly bigger than your standard strapped radius, I guess. Um, but the last guitar I made, I did a 12 and it felt really nice um, once finished. And a couple of people who tested it um, and Tim said they quite like the wider, so I thought, mm, why not? We'll try a 10 this time. Right, so that's enough sanding for, well, probably forever. <laughs> and there's still more to go. Um, but for now, that's fine. I'll crack on and you don't need to see that. I'll hopefully show you um, some progress in a couple of days. But for now, um, same as always, please subscribe. Please share the Broken Wind love. Um, please look up Phil Jahari on all major platforms. Give him your support as much as you're giving me. Keep commenting. I'm loving it. I'm sorry I don't have time to reply. 
Um, but I am watching, I am listening what you're saying, so please keep it coming and see you soon. <laughs>